Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Krisa for those who are new and I am a cash budgeter just using this system to help get my finances in order during these inflated times. So if that is content that you may be interested in, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's just jump right into this video. So today we're going to be stuffing a total of should be $690. So let's go ahead and lay this money out. Okay, so let's go ahead and unstuff our wallet. So we do have some leftover money from last week because um, if you guys didn't catch my last video, um, I'm off this week. It's a layoff because we are short parts, so we didn't have to go into work this week. It was a last minute layoff, which it normally is. So I didn't really touch much of my wallet because I didn't really need to. So we have some money in gas. So there's $15 in gas. We're going to put that off to the side. Groceries has its full amount in there because like I said, I didn't really need to go grocery shopping. Also, um, I do have to pull some money from here, but I want to do a um, like an unstuffing video. So when I do that, I will correct all this amount and take what I need to take out of there but for now we're just going to roll it over or unstuff it spending has 25 and eating out has 15 in there and we keep home and toiletries in there beauty doesn't have anything miscellaneous i spend and then we have my back to bank okay so let's go ahead and start with gas and this week i'm giving gas ten dollars less because i have three quarter tanks so i don't think i'm going to need the full 40 so gas is going to get 30 this week so 20 and 10 so 30. I've had a very productive week so far being off. I booked so much like appointments for myself, you know, taking advantage of my insurance. I was like, okay, let's go book this. Let's book that. And I was just making sure I got everything done. And yeah, it's been really good. Groceries is getting 80. So 20, 40, 60, and 80. I am back to work next week. So I will need to do some grocery shopping just to get um you know snacks and stuff for for work fruits vegetables things like that spending is going to get 40 and it's going to get four tens 10 20 30 and 40. Okay, and then next we have eating out and eating out is going to get it's actually going to get 25 because I spent five dollars already so twenty five dollars it's now in eating out and I find when I'm on afternoon shift so when I'm working my three o'clock shift I don't really have time to like obviously go out and eat because I usually go to the gym and I prep my lunch and stuff so this is probably going to sit here unless you know the weekend hits and I end up eating that up Home is getting five dollars, and I did do my laundry that was a part of my to do list for this week, and that got done, so now it has twenty dollars in there. Toiletries is getting five as well. Still need to get a few things, but I will just make a purchase off of Amazon. I'm just waiting to collect points from my um, credit card so that I can use it towards my Amazon cart. So now it has 10, 20, and 30. Okay. And beauty doesn't get it stuffed and miscellaneous is getting $5 and that's empty. Okay, so that is it for our wallet okay i'm gonna organize this and count what i have for my rollover for the week so there's 20 40 60 80 90 1 10 20 35 135 like i said i may not actually be 
might not actually have this full amount. I have to double check to see what I need to take from here so that when I do my unstuffing, I can take out the correct amount. So there's 135 for now going into the rollover. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into our bills binder. And starting off with house bills, it's getting 150. So I did apply for EI and I think I'm going to um, get paid out next week. I don't think I'm going to actually have to serve the waiting period, which means I probably won't have to use my layoff buffer. Um, I don't know exactly what day I'm going to get the pay. So if I don't get it before Thursday, then I will use the layoff buffer and then I'll um, replenish it back once I get the payment. And if I get it before Thursday, then that's what I'm going to use to stuff my wallets and at least one week's worth of bills that I had missed. Okay, so now the house bills has one, two, three, three fifty, four, four fifty. And this is a magic month for me. It sucks that I was laid off for one week, but at least if um, I do get that payment, it's it's something. Car insurance is going to get fifty five. 55. So now it has 51, 150, 160, 165. Cell phone is getting, it's getting 20. So now it has $60 in cell phone. Annual is being skipped, CA is being skipped, life insurance is getting 20. So there's 60 in there. And then subscriptions is getting 10. So now it has 50. So that is it for the bills binder. So now we're going to jump into our long term savings and starting off with general savings it's getting ten dollars so this week guys like i said i've had a very productive week getting a lot of things done and one of the things that i wanted to get done was um having a self day self day uh self care day and i did that today i went and i got my nails done my nails my feet done i went downtown to meet a friend and we had brunch together and then I did some browsing and I grabbed some sushi and then once like all the crazies start to come out like if you live if you know about downtown Toronto like once the crazies start to come out like it's time to go it's really time to go so because I was by myself I was like nah it's time to go so I just grabbed my food and I had to go but I had a great time um, and it's good to know that I had put it on my list and I was able to check it off so that's great so now general savings has 500, 600, 650, 670, 680. New car is getting 30. And now new car has 1,000, 2,500, 600, 650, 670, 690, 700, 710, 720. So 2720 is now in new car. Emergency is being skipped. Month ahead is being skipped. Decor is getting 20. So 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 50. So 1,000. 350. First and last is getting 20. So it has 1,000, 2,500, 20, 40, 50. So 2,550. Supplies, same thing. So it has 1,000, 50, 70, 90, and 1,100.
moving fees is capped so just in case is getting the last first the last category and that's getting 20 so it has 500 600 650 670 690 710 730 740 so 740 is in here now okay and that is it for our savings binder now we're jumping into the last binder that we're going to be stuffing and it's going to be our sinking funds which is like our yeah i'm just gonna say sinking funds okay health is getting 20 and like i said guys okay i said this before that i my insurance kicked in so i was like this week i'm like okay all my appointments i'm like what can like what can i what do I qualify for my insurance? Like, let me try to max it out, right? So I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the optometrist and I'm just going to get an eye test. I haven't had an eye test in ages. And I was like, let's just see. I always thought I had great eyes. Never had an issue with my eye while I was there. I was just thinking, oh, well, my insurance covers it. Might as well just check, see what's going on. So he does his test, whatever. And then right when he's done, he's like, okay, like, I'm going to write you your prescription. And in my head, I was like... My, like what do you what do you mean like writing a prescription like what's wrong with my, I have nothing on my eyes like what do you mean so basically through his testing and his findings he's like okay so my left eye is basically 20 20 but my right eye is like a point or two below I forgot what he said I think he said like a point or two and because of that like my left eye has to compensate for my right eye so he's not saying I need to wear it like all the time but he's just like if you're like you know on your laptop or your computer same thing if you're on your like your laptop or your phone for a while or like um reading for a long time like you might just want to wear the glasses to kind of just help so one eye doesn't get more fatigued than the other so basically i ended up having to purchase my first pair of glasses and like i didn't like any of them because obviously i was like no like i didn't come here to get glasses so anyways guys i now um I'm going to be a, a glasses wearer, I guess like a casual glasses wearer. But anyways, that was that. So now I got to stuff health because there's some other things that I want to do. And I just want to make sure I have money in here. So it now has 1, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, and 240. And I also went to the dentist. Like I got so much stuff done this week, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. So 240 is in here now. We will do an unstuffing, like I said, because I have to pay for the balance um, for my glasses. Tech is being skipped. Cash buffer is getting $10. So now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, and 30. So 130. And honestly, guys, like to me, it was an awakening. Like if you have insurance, go milk it like all the things that you are entitled to even if you think you don't need it go check it out because i would have walked around for another few years not thinking i ever needed glasses not knowing that like one of my eyes was actually a little bit weaker and i would have been straining 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 my eyes and just making it worse just because i thought i didn't need it so if you have it go check it out um next we have car maintenance and that's getting 20 So has 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 90, 510. Okay, get out is getting $10. And I used some of this money today when I went downtown. It all went mainly to food, which is kind of sad. <laughs> but it is what it is. That was my version of a getting out. I went out, I went for lunch or brunch, and I had some dinner, so like it's all good. So now it has 10, 20, 30, 35. And I still have the weekend, so I can definitely use this. I want to go to the movies, so maybe I can use this to go to the movies. I know I said I wanted a girls' night out. The girls' night didn't really happen, but at least I went out with one of my girls. But um, I'll probably end up using this for like the movies or something. I don't know. We'll see. V is getting five so he has 50 60 70 80 90 105 
and gifts is getting five dollars so gifts has 10 20 30 40 55 Travel isn't getting anything. And then the layoff buffer is getting the rollover. So I think I said it was 135. So today is the 15th. I forgot I pre-wrote it. Okay, so let's add this money in here. And like I said, when I do my unstuffing, if there is money that I need to pull from like my groceries or whatever, I have to go back in here to take it out since that's where the money went, um, went into. So right now it has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. So 465. I'm just going to double check that because. So 350 plus. See, I'm getting. 485 okay so let me count this again yeah sorry so it's 485 my bad so it has in there right now 485 okay so that's it for this binder and I forgot I am pulling from my personal binder I'm not pulling from sorry I got a stuff one envelope in here and it is my invest and I forgot to fill this in so I'm just do that really quick it's getting five dollars so it should be 90 and I did go to the bank inquiring about some investment options so I have to go and do a follow-up appointment next week so now has 50, 70, 80, and 90 dollars in investing. Okay, so that is it for this binder. Okay, lastly we have our 5k savings. So because my paycheck was short this week because I didn't work the Saturday because we were getting laid off, so we didn't they cancel our Saturday. And we went home early on Monday. So I'm only able to stuff $50 into this challenge, which is better than nothing. So I am very grateful. Also, you guys, you know how I was saying like, oh, I wanted to double or triple this before that like big layoff that's coming. And I was doing the calculation and I was like, the way the amount that I'm stuffing and the amount of time I have, as much as I think this is a lot. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to even like double it. So I got to figure out how to contribute more money to this. But for right now, if I just hit the 5,000, I guess I'm just going to be grateful with that. So that is now colored in and we're going to add $50 to it. So now it has 1,100 and 200. So $1,200 is now in our 5k savings. So guys, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into another one of my cash stuffings. If you guys haven't already, please comment, subscribe, like, um, and stay tuned for more cash stuffings. I do stuff weekly if you guys don't know that by now. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.